<laughs> this is a fantastic story. He's a math teacher at Denham Town High School. He's a former head boy at Jose Marti. His name is Troy Williams and he's on a mission to empower his students. And he's here to share his story. And he's a math teacher. Eh? Maria, let me know. Morning, friend. Welcome to Smile Jamaica. How are you? Thank you. Thank you. It's a pleasure being here. Today. But it's our pleasure to have you. Boy, Troy, just going through this and preparing for this interview, I said, boy, what a story. I cannot tell peace out already, because you know, I love bust things on TV, you know, so <laughs> I mean, it bust it from early. A teacher told you, tell me the story about your sister coming to the class and stuff. Tell me that story. All right. So, uh, basically, it, just a disclaimer, just a disclaimer. You know, less at the end of the interview, you know, uh, they chastise me. Is it okay that, you know, a little patter come in every No, no man, I mean, man, of yeah, course. Not best at speaking standard English, you know. Educator, they say they have to speak, so. No, man, speak how you want I to appreciate speak. that, I appreciate that. So basically, when I was in primary school, when I say I don't know nothing in, in the mass, I just don't know nothing. But one thing I do know, the brightest in the class, and those that was getting the 190. So what I did, I, I sat behind them, strategically positioned myself where I can see the paper. <laughs> so during the test now, I definitely, anything I see them put, for example, number one, A, I copy and paste it in my book. So at the end of the test now, I see them, you know, get the 90s and the 100s, so I already fear my 90 and 100 too. And only fear everything always drop below 36. That's why I said cash pot grade, you know, you know, the top number for cash pot is 36. 36. <laughs> so I'm, I'm trying to figure out how is it that me know exit, me definitely write every single letter you put. So I, I thought about it and the only thing come to mind, them know say I'm a regular habit of cheating, so them just plan for me. Write, the, the, write the, the letters and then in the end, they rub it up quickly and write the correct sum. I, I was thinking about it last night, even LCM, EHF, EHCF. When me hear, them, the, when me hear those things in class, it's like it's another language, Arabic, you're talking to me. <laughs> you're talking Spanish, when me say I don't know nothing. So one day now, the teacher called me and said, Troy, come to the board. I start fret, my panic. It was long division they were doing. Panic, panic, panic. She said, come to the board. She said, do this for me. So, me stand up there. Me don't, me don't know what to do, so me have to just stand up there. And she was very upset. Very upset. She said, stand up here, so. So, me sort of think, no, I was in grade six at the time. Me sort of think, say, no, she gone for the principal, so me can get some fine lashing. <laughs> So my plan for take the lash, you know, only feel look biggest surprise of my life. It was my sister. The worst part about it is she was in grade three. And I said, Jesus, you know what time of day this is now, you know, embarrassment. And she said, your brother can't do the simple maths. Your brother can't do the simple maths. Come do it for him. And I said, my sister, bam, bam. And in no time, and I tell you, say, it really hurt. It better she did, you know, beat, beat me. It wouldn't so bad, but you know, when you carry your little sister, and she told my sister that, you know, your brother lose a screw. Wow. Wow. <coughs> wow. But that did something for you, didn't it? That made you realize that you, you, you kind of had to speak. Honestly, up. at the time, at the time, it, 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 I tried, I know that I tried my best. I tried my best, but things just never work out for me. How did you become this great math person after all of that? Sir, to be honest, at the age of 14, somebody told me about the Lord. And they said that, I remember they said that, you know, if you accept the Lord and if you learn to read the Bible, because I could not read none at all. I could not read, I could not write. When I did the GSAT, it was any mini mini more. And anything the more fallen, that's my, my answer. So when everybody else passed at St. Diego, St. Catherine, Calabar, Rosemont Primary and Junior High, 
You understand? So what I usually did, I, you know, take off the crest to hide with, you know, everybody have good, you know, hide, you know, but I accepted the Lord at the age of 14 and I started to read the Bible. And somehow, I don't know when it happened, by reading the Bible, I find myself improving the reading. But, you know, thank God to Mr. Jacko at Rosemont Primary and Junior High. Waste my time, gamble, game shop, everything you can think about. Because you don't know nothing in that class, so you know, make no sense to go to class. I remember one day when everybody run, I don't know, because I was slow, I guess him grabbed me. And I get some leak from him, you see, man. He choke out the life out of me. I said, boy, you know, when I grow big, I have to go deal him case. But I tell you, say, come like the best thing they ever do. Because he kind of strike a fear in me. Because he said, wait till they come in my class. But he kind of settled down and, you know, trust me. And it all started from there. Some teachers saw, saw that I had a little potential. They encouraged me. And, you know, with God's help, I, 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 I suddenly, I gradually improve. So when I did the, grade, the GNAT, which is the grade nine achievement test, I passed to Osamar to Technical High School. And you became the head boy there? Yes, in grade nine, as I said, I tried my little best. I, I definitely tried my best. In grade nine, I was a prefect. In grade 10, I was surprised, surprised. You know, I was, they, they, they gave me the deputy head boy. And in grade 11, he, I became the head boy. If I ask the students at Denham Town what kind of teacher you are, what do you think they would tell me? I definitely know the passion. They say that sir is a very passionate, understand, very caring, because from my experience, I wouldn't want no other student to go through that. So it's just pure love. I'm able to relate if they have a struggle in the mass, I'm able to relate to them. You know, if they, if they say something that is definitely off or out of place or, you know, I know to respond, error handling, you, you don't let them feel less of a person, etc. Yeah. Why did you not go to Jose Marchi to teach? Why then I'm done? Okay, I understand. All right, honestly, I, I, I applied there. I applied at Jose Marchi, which have to be a first choice. So you want to go back to your school yeah. and give back to your yeah. school. Yeah. So definitely I applied for Jose Marchi. Then I'm told was included, but... I never get a, a call. He, he, maybe they were full up at the time or never need a teacher. Yeah. What grades do you teach? So I teach grade 9 to 11. C-sec? C-sec, maths. Grade no, 2? Currently, currently, currently I teach city and girls, okay. including the C-sec, maths. Um, and how, how have you seen, you've seen passes, you've seen the, the youngsters get in there? I've definitely seen improvement, improvement. You know, we don't get much passes, but we definitely see where they move from, from here, point A to point B. You know, later on, them can, eh, nobody can rob them, if you understand what yeah, I mean. Man. They can check, etc. Yeah, et you you also hands-on, you, you make things and you teach uh, them to do that too, don't you? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a trade man. I'm, I'm a trade man, definitely, which is an aluminum window fabricator those fancy windows and doors, you know, so I do show enclosure, windows, doors. So I'm a teacher first, and I'm a teacher second. So because teaching is a passion for me, I teach the trade online. Thinking about an employee person and stuff, they can go online and learn the trade. Love your story. Thank you. And I love you. Thanks. Hey man, continue to do what you do. Thank you. We, we need many more like you and you're one of the best things about Jamaica. Thank you very much. Blessings and love friend. Thank you. Very Math much. teacher, uh, former head boy. He's now at Denham Town. His name is Troy Williams. What a story. All right, so come.